All right, this is Salamancer, and I'm bringing you guys round two of Dignitas versus Seacrass in their best of three series. Tuche, we're going to watch the rollout here on Badlands, and we'll have to see whether this map can go a little bit better for one of these teams here. Of course, I'm going to give you spoilers right now, so you better go watch the first round first and stop playing this video. But the Seacrass lost about 5-1 to one there on Snakewater, so we're going to have to see whether they can do a lot better here on uh, CP Badlands, the, the one of the most played maps in 6v6. Right now, they've already lost three players here at the mid-fight. Punpu in a very good position just to hit anybody who's trying to flank. And the Jackal, following his teammates very, very far forward here, he's going to take a soldier up right now to the Spire. They've already got a huge advantage, and yeah, there's nothing that Seacrest can do about this. Maybe a very early quick capture to Team Dignitas. Uh, we'll have to see, though, because it looks like we do have a soldier here trying to peek out. Oh, man, taking a lot of spam here and gets taken out. That is not a very common thing to get spammed that hard in the battlements that you get taken out as you're backing away. But wow, beautiful job there by Dignitas of calling that out and getting as much damage as possible on it. Um, Dign I'm sorry, Dignitas is now, yes, pushing into last. They have their 100%. So does Seacrass, but uh, Cookie just trying to watch the flanks here. I think he might have spotted a scout there, but no. Um, there you go. Looks like, oh, immediately everybody getting taken out. Rula and more both down. Punpu has died as well. Uh, Seacrest finally popped their counter Uber there on a pyro, but he gets taken out. And now it's only two against three here. Demo Man trying to sticky up the point. That's going to be very difficult for Dignitas to deal with, but they do have somebody standing on it right now. Oh, big kills there by Tuche, but it doesn't matter. Um, Dejackal just walks onto the point after the stickies have been detonated and manages to finish off the cap. So, uh, Dignitas on a very early lead. That was, how fast was that round even? That was like a minute and 30 seconds for that round to finish so that was pretty beautiful for them um, and they are now pushing out once again to the mid fight here Mafu taking the very standard demo man rollout and actually it looks like a window rollout for Tuche or a balcony rollout whatever you want to call it right now uh, Medic could be under in a lot of trouble but Himsey gets taken out first um, Honky of course taken out as well and Dignitas is a, they're kind of backed up into their house right now oh his soldier could get a lot of damage done on that Medic there actually some spam pipes coming in here and Dignitas is just all their players are hurt right now they are holding on to the point but there you go Tuche with one kill uh, he gets taken out by Cookie Pavi now has helped more take down to Jackal so no medic up for Dignitas, but Pavi is still alive right now. Oh, gets taken out by Hawks, though, with the last shotgun shell that he had. Man, this is the most brutal mid-fight I've seen here in the Euro play yet. Um, Mafu now taking out more, and I think Dignitas has a middle point. Looks like only Hawks, or no, I'm sorry. What is that guy's name? Only um, a soldier honky, I'm sorry, up alive right now. He ends up getting taken down by Himzy. Rula taking down Himzy in return. And man, these guys just will not stop trading kills with each other. But Dignitas holds the middle point. They do have just a bit of an uber advantage. And they are probably going to press that. These guys have just been crazy aggressive, though. Uh, Seacrass, even though they do not have an advantage, they have been trying to 1v1 and 2v2 and whatever they can do to get an advantage. Um, oh, big damage coming down on Seacrass right now. They are going to have to back into their house um, because they could not commit there. They've got a... Their uber advantage is actually dissipating here on Dignitas, and once again, I think we're going to see Red try to commit to the defense of the Spire. They've got a soldier jumping up right now, but he is getting counter-jumped by Blue. Oh, did not even spot that. He has been healed up. That was, of course, Honky getting his heals on, but having to back out once again. So there you go. The Spire is captured by Dignitas. They're ready to push in right now. The Uber is coming in, and we will have to see what happens here because the Jackal is pushing in straight through main. Um, the Uber is just now ready for Pavi, so he's probably going to pop that almost immediately. Tuche gets taken down, though. No stickies on the point, so they're going to have to keep their medic or somebody down there guarding it. Right now, Dignitas has all their players up. They've got both scouts on there and immediately capping before anybody... Yeah, that is the problem with not having a demo man up on last. Uh, you can't sticky the point, and you just, you're just going to lose it. So Dignitas up 2-0 to zero right now, and we do see Diggy T uh, beating Seacrass at the moment. Seacrass um, not looking like a, a strong enough team to really come back against Dignitas, so we may see this best of three series um, go to Dignitas very, very quickly, unless Seacrass can do something really different. Tuche getting out here right now. Um, of course, what, what really has to happen is Seacrass just has to start out DMing their opponents, and they also need to find a way to crack the uh, impenetrable offense that Dignitas has been putting together. Um, Santu goes down there. First kill for, I mean, for, yeah, first kill for Dignitas. Pavi goes down as well immediately, and now scout in on the demo man. Oh, Seacrest losing this mid fight as well. Ouch! Full wipe out there, and, and Jackal stayed alive. So Dignitas is going to be pushing towards the spire now, and they will be able to capture that with both of their scouts pushing up towards it immediately. The Jackal is is uh, once again pocketing them up. He knows he didn't. He was not under any sort of threat right there. Now that. Uh, they've had a soldier 
and a scout come up. Um, Dejack was just feeling a little bit concerned. He doesn't want to have that Uber popped on him early. Sentry coming up right now for Santu right outside of the spawn door, and he's just trying to build that up as quickly as possible, maybe get it to level 2 at least, because level 2 is where you really need it. Uh, level 3, I mean, it's nice to have the little rocket coming out of it, but uh, most people are not actually going to get hit by that. Really, the level 2 and level 3 are the same damage except for the rocket. So at least if he can get it to level 2, that's what he's going to want. Level 3 is just kind of a bonus. Uh, but Mafu is now just starting to peek in with some stickies here, and there is no sniper for the moment. The the Uber's actually been popped just a little bit early there through the side, uh, and there you go. Once again, Scout standing on the point, but Tuche did have some stickies there this time. The Uber's been popped now, and I think Seacrest may be able to hold on to this. Stickies are there, but if somebody just spit on that point, it would be captured. Nonetheless, um, Punpu is, is the only man left alive right now, actually, for Dignitas. Very, very hurt. He did grab a health kit, so he'll be able to back off. Um, ooh, maybe waiting for some one, but no, he's going to have to just get out of there with like 60 health left to go. There you go. Finally, he's going to be okay, but Seacrest with a very decisive win on their last point, so they've actually put together a good defense. They did manage to crack that Dignitas offense. Well done to them, and now Mafu is just trying to... What is he doing? He's just trying to spread these little uh, stickies around all over the place. Oh, man! And it looks like Pavik is taken out there by Himzi. Himzi actually taking out Tuche as well, and he's still alive. He's gotten a 2k there, um, going for the Stolger on the... Fire and helps do a lot of damage to him. He's got 11 health left and now trying to pist or, um, yeah, pistol away at the soldier down there, but it's not going to happen just yet. Nonetheless, Dignitas, I think they have this round too. They're pushing in right now. They don't have an Uber ready to go though. Oh, actually, mm, not a good decision by Hawks and Mafu to push in against those spawners. So really, if anything, that's going to help Seacrass here. They've just gotten three kills in a row and they can push right back out to the Spire again. Um, no uber advantage for either team, but we are going to see, I think, the Spire lost for Dignitas, and they've got to be very careful here. Yes, the Jackal is going to have to hang out back here for the moment. Now his players are back up. I think they should be able to... Oh, they may even be able to hold on to the Spire here. Um, Scout's both hopping up there and not really pressuring the blue team too much. Neither team getting under pressure too much here. Uh, Santu just staying on the point as long as he can. He may get jumped, which is no fun to deal with as a scout. Oh, back cap going on, though. Oh, you're kidding me. Cookie gets the back cap. Um, can't quite finish off that end of round madness. Finally gets the kill. Um, and yes, this is definitely a language I do not understand at all. But beautiful back cap there for Dignitas. And they are so far ahead right now. I'm not going to call it. I was going to call it, I was going to be like, no, Dignitas totally has this game, but every time I do that, I'm just so wrong, so no, I'm not going to call it at all. Anything can happen here in these games, of course, Seacrass can bring it down um, to a very big win, because of course, there's still 22 minutes left here, but I mean, just looking at the, oh, Mafu actually goes down very quickly there, um, Seacrass, I think they've won this, mid-fight at the very least. Now, both teams have kept their medics alive, so it's going to be Uber versus Uber. But Mafu still has about six seconds to, to pop up here. So actually, big jumping coming in right now. Himzi goes down immediately there, just trying to stay forward to pressure, and he was caught out of position. Uh, I think that the Spire is going to get captured by our red team, and they may actually bring this back. They have 100% uber advantage right now, or not advantage, but they have 100% right now. Jackal not healing anybody. Where is he? Um, finally probably getting back into his last point. There you go. Now he's going to get his uber up. But the problem is Seacrest holds on to the Spire, and they are going to be able to push in here. Punpu has died. He's just now coming back up once again. So the respawn waves have finished. Everybody is alive for both teams. And we will see what the Seacrass decides to push in on that. Looks like so far, yes, they are pushing immediately. Dealing a lot of damage to the soldier in the corner. Forcing the Uber there from the Jackal just to save him. Um, now jumping up to the high ground because actually most people on blue right now are on the low ground here. And that's very, very good. Oh, look at that beautiful cap there. Nobody able to, uh, yeah, I'll go over that as they roll out. But basically what happened there for Seacrass as they brought it up to 1-3, to three, um, they're jumping up the against Mafu. Mafu for Dignitas, of course. Mafu got trapped where he could not sticky up the point because he was trying to deal with a soldier. Meanwhile, Tuche was putting a bunch of stickies in front of the point so that his scouts could go cap it, and if anybody tried to get and stop him, they would just end up dying. So, very well done. Textbook case of how you win that uh, last fight there, but um, Mafu and Tuche both getting taken out. Now, Punpu down as well, and Cookie, so that's a lot of players down for Dignitas. Himzi now is... Oh, he is so dead. So, it's only Hawks trying to defend his medic, and they're going to have to probably walk all the way back to last. Yeah, running back there, and Hawks looks like he is going to be A-OK -okay with his medic. They're going to build that Uber up to 100%, but Seacrass, once again, uh, with a big mid-fight win there, so I think they are going to be able to bring it up possibly to 2-3 to three here with 20 minutes left to go. There is so long left in this game right now, and we're seeing Seacrass starting to figure something out here. If they can shut down Mafu, which is what they've been doing, um, then they may be able to win this game after all. So right now, 
Uber versus Uber once again. Tuche is damaged. Uber popped very early here. Santu did go down. They had to pop it just to get into the lower lobby. Himzy goes down as well. Are they actually just sneaking around the back here? Yes, they are. But the medic is in position, so I don't think that's going to work very well for them. The Jackal is ready to go with his 100% Uber right now. All six players left alive for Seacrass. Oh, Scout coming in on the medic. Could get taken out, though. Cookie does get killed by Honky. And these guys with all of their Y names, they're so cute. Cute little names right there. Oh, Rula actually, and more pushing in to the right-hand side. And this is, uh, they're pushing in without the Uber against an Uber situation. Yeah, they have forced the Uber there for the Jackal. Now, if anything, they should just back out. That's exactly what they're doing. Um, they're going to have to back out pretty far. But Tuche there, able to pop them up into the air. And so there you go. Dignitas now has a severe Uber disadvantage because of how they had to pop. They're trying to get up to capture the Spire to, to delay that Uber push from Seacrass on the last... Uh, I think they're going to be able to do it, too, because P Pun Poo right now and his scout, yes, have captured that point. So very well done to Dignitas. Kind of a clutch play there. They needed that capture because if they didn't get the capture on Spire, they probably would have lost last. Hims is getting in right now and getting a kill on Honky. He is just, they're, they're having trouble taking him out. More on the sniper. Does finally finish him off with the SMG. Now looking out towards the choke, and nobody is going to go anywhere near there. They know there's a sniper up right now. Oh, he's peeking around. Can he get a headshot? On the enemy medic, I think they may have all retreated. Mm, they've not retreated just yet. No, more has to back out now. He's getting spammed down by the rockets. So, well done to Dignitas. They knew the sniper was there. They knew how to handle him for now. More still trying to peek around here just with the SMG. Uh, interesting. It's not going to deal a lot of damage from that far of a range, though. Here comes the Uber from Seacrass and Dignitas. They actually gave Dignitas a chance to build that up as well. So, it's Uber versus Uber once again, where Seacrass actually had a pretty big advantage. They just weren't able to use it because of positioning. Good rocket surfing there by our medic, but he, oh, he's getting so pressured right now. Pavi does get taken down. Finished off by Hawks right there, and Cookie here um, helping to take out Tuche as well, so no demo man for Seacrass. Only one man up, actually. They just had Rula spawn. So, the middle point is going right back to Dignitas, uh, showing some very decisive play, pushing out from last. These guys are like, come on, let's put our serious faces on here. The tryhard pants have come out, and they're pulling them up, and putting the belt on right now. The belt of, uh, of plus 10 tryhard um, oh no, I'm such a nerd. Anyway, Dignitas now is capturing the spire of their opponents, and Seacrass uh, having to back away from this. They cannot stop it right now. The Ubers are even, and there's just nobody there to really deal a lot of damage to Dignitas. Now, I'm I'm kind of interested to see whether Dignitas is actually going to push into the upper lobby, because it's, it's no Uber at the moment, and it looks like that's what they want to do. Um, they are pushing in right now, and yeah, I do think that they are going to push just as soon as they have that uber they'll go straight through main uh they do not hold the high ground at the moment no uh actually i think the medic has walked upstairs so yes they should hold the high ground no where's the jackal right now i don't even know um there we go he's, he's pushing around the right hand side so they've pushed the uber through the right they hold the high ground right now but there's a sentry up they just need to get those stickies off there you go stickies were detonated um very close to a capture there but clutch defense by the medic and, oh, Cookie tried to rush in there, but oh, the Uber wasn't even finished, so he didn't manage to do anything. Mafu now taking a lot of damage. The Jackal standing in a position where he could have gotten taken out, but Tuche has killed Hawks right now. Santu coming around to the side. He's spotted his opponents, but he's going to get back up here onto the Spire. Wow, and it has gone from last point to last point and back again. Santu and his fellow scout are now helping capture this Spire and get it right back into red hands so they're not in that danger zone anymore where they really have to worry about a back cap ending the round. Mafu gets taken out by Honky and Pavi right now, and Dignitas is losing players here. If they lose their Demo Man, of course, that's a big deal. Demos are just the most damage-heavy class in the game, but... Uh, it looks like they're not able to capture that Spire after all. I was going to say they were going to try to capture the Spire, but they lost Cookie up there trying to do that capture work. And now uh, Dignitas does a 100% Uber, but they mm, they could pop it on these these soldiers, actually. But it's getting to where Pavi has his 100% as well. And look, actually, they've just rotated around here where now uh, Blue Team is split up. They are forcing the Uber from Red, but Red uh, is now kind of pinched here. They're capturing the middle point for the moment. But mm, who is going to win this fight? I have no idea right now. Positioning after the Ubers are over may go to... Oh, I don't even know. Punpu is down. Tuche is down. Hawks is down. Pavi's down. Um, it's just one and one for each team. Honky trying to get some more capture time on the point. But really what he's doing is chasing after the medic here uh, because he knows his medic is down. If he can get that kill, oh no. Took a crossbow bolt to the chest and then Himsey finished him off. So actually, oh, the Jackal did get taken out. I didn't even see who got the kill on him. But lots of damage coming down from both teams. That was crazy, crazy action. And Seacrest, once again, in control of the middle point. They're getting Santu up to the second point immediately.
nobody to contest it right now. There's a soldier over there, but he would have to walk quite a long distance, and Santu would be very prepared for that. Finally, a demo man walking up and sticking the point up, so that's that's tough to deal with. Once those stickies are up there, you have to start shooting them or else take out the demo. Oh man, I've casted so much today, I am just losing my voice and losing all of my breath, but this is a crazy game right now. Last point to last point and back again, I swear, that is what's happening. This isn't ping pong, this isn't tennis, this is... I don't even know what this is right now. This is this is a crazy sport. This is like a, a, a very nearly a kickoff return in American football turning into a fumble into very nearly another return for like 100 yards. I... I don't even know, guys. This is just a crazy game right now. And Seacrass, um, they do hold on to the middle point at the moment. Um, Soldier over here. Punpu taking a lot of damage, having to rocket jump away with how much health left? 22. So he is okay for the moment. But now Seacrass is... Uh, they, they do not have an uber advantage. No, no player advantage either. So I don't know. <laughs> Himsey is playing so far forward right now, watching those sticky traps and just taking out each and every sticky as it lands. Very good aim as a scout. Um, and yeah, once again, he's going to take this scout down as well, trying to pistol him down. Oh, sneaking in on the demo man, actually. And there you go. It was called that a, a, a scout actually got behind Moore and Tuchair, both down right now. Uber is popped. Dignitas trying to stop this capture here while they back cap on mid. Cookie, though, yeah, does take out Santu. Rula's down. It's a medic trying to stop the cap, and he gets taken out as well. Complete wipeout for Seacrest. They just didn't know how to deal with that at all. Dignitas played beautifully there, and I think they may have the round. This is extreme madness right now. What is this? Is this a crumb? This better be a crumb. This is a crumb. Okay, there we go. Cool. Uh, <laughs> Punpu is now helping capture the Spire, and the big uber advantage goes to Diggy. So I think Diggy T, Dignitas, is going to push in to the last point very, very soon. They want to build that uber up first, um, get their medic into a position to push with it. Uh, they, they have not liked pushing through the upper stairs, though. They either push through main or through right most of the time, which is an interesting little thing. And yes, I think they're going to do that again. They're just going to push straight in through main, not even worry about holding up that upper lobby. Um, so here they go. Uber is coming in right now. Sounds like there's a heavy out there. There's a pyro as well. That's a very common thing. Uh, pyro just air blasting that Uber back. He's a sacrificial play, but there you go. Um, that is Hox finishing off the capture to bring it to 4-1 to one for Dignitas. Oh, man. I need to take just a quick break. Okay, break over. We have Dignitas and Seacrass. Of course, I'm still watching these guys. Right now, it's 4-1 to one in favor of Dignitas. These guys have shown some amazing play. Oh, what's, what's the time left? Yeah, 12 minutes. Um, not going to call it. I'm not going to call it because I'm so bad about that. Dignitas right now. Ooh, Mafu gets taken out there again. That's a pretty big deal, of course, losing a Devil Man early at the mid-fight. Um, and I think, yes, Tuche is still up, so he's able to deal a lot of a pill spam. Rula's down, though. More down as well. Now Tuche has died there. Very good mid-fight here by Dignitas. And mm, there goes the scout. So complete wipe once again for Seacrass. Um, is it okay if I call it for Dignitas now? I might do that. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It's a terrible thing to do. But no, uh, it looks like they, they are probably going to win this round here. They've got a 100% uber advantage. Now, last time, of course, uh, Seacrass actually did manage to defend from that 100% advantage situation. So anything can happen here. Um, it's just that Dignitas is in such a dominant position right now, and they've been in a dominant position almost all game, that I would be surprised if Seacrass could come back and, and win this game here in the next 12 minutes, or even tie it up. Anything can happen. Right now we're going to watch the Pyro play here on last. Where is the Pyro? Uh, two chains alive right now. Uh, there we go. Santu is on the Pyro, and he's, he's going to be ready to... Uh, just air blast whatever he can out there, trying to air blast some spam from this soldier, and now lighting him on fire, but he gets taken out there immediately. Dignitas, mm, they're losing a lot of players, but so is Seacrass here. They've they've not lost their demo man yet. He could still try to get on that point and set some stickies down, but no, not able to do it. And Pavi actually gets uber sawed there at the end by the Jackal. So it's now 5-1, to one, um, and Seacrass needs 4 points in the next 11 minutes. That's about, you know, 2.5, maybe 3 minutes per point. So it's possible. It's possible. Um, possible. Tuche coming out here with the window rollout once again, trying to deal some damage here to his opposing demo man. And we'll see which demo man goes down first. That, more than anything, should decide how these mid fights go, but uh, anything can happen, of course. Uh, Honky goes down right away. Good combined fire there from Hawks and Mafu, but immediately we are seeing a soldier and a scout, Punpu and Himsey, both trying to bomb in there on that medic. Tuche now goes down as well. It's three on three here, and now, no, that's, now it's two on three, actually. Dejackal trying to keep Hawks healed up with only 75 health remaining, and um, medic hiding down beneath very good hiding spot there. He kept that heal beam on his team for a long time. It's only DeJackal left. Santu chasing him down there. Gets uber sawed. Oh, no. Actually, uh, DeJackal with 100%. He doesn't have to pop it yet. 
beautiful work there by the Jackal to get out of there with the Uber Saw. He's got 100% Uber right now, and he can he can stop. They might even be able to catch, stop the capture on mid. Are you kidding me? Um, no, now it's going to get captured for sure. But uh, oh, actually, what? What are they doing? What are they doing? Pushing in with just a scout there. Himsy gets taken out before the Uber can even stop, and the Jackal now finds his other scout. I, I guess he's just trying to force the Uber out of red, and he does manage to do it, surfing off of some big stickies right now. And now, oh, he's found a soldier. So they're still contesting mid, and Seacrest doesn't know how to respond to this. So they've got to find a way to get in here to the house. Oh, the Jackal taking some uh, hits from the side now finally goes down. So Seacrest with some very good defense there. I think Dignitas was... <laughs> that was pretty crazy. I, I don't know what to say about that, except that was crazy. I think the Jackal there kind of knew... Um, that wasn't going to work out very well, and it was just kind of a desperate, not a desperation play, but a play for fun there to see if he couldn't Uber a scout into the Seacrest team and get some kills. Uh, Himsy and Pumpu both going down again, so still nobody up for Dignitas, and I think Seacrest can win this round. They've got a big Uber advantage right now, um, so they, they should be able to push in here, and we have seen them win on an Uber advantage before, so I think that is what's going to happen. Right now, Mafu just setting some sticky traps up. Uh, we'll see who comes in where. And right now, Dignitas playing with a very forward hold here in the upper lobby. But Cookie gets taken out. And are they going to drop back? If I were them, I would. Yes, looks like Punpu at least has dropped back to the last point. Um, still Mafu, though, watching these sticky traps on the doors. And we'll see whether anybody walks through and gets taken out by them. I think most of the red team is pushed in, though. Yes, through the battlements. And they've immediately popped that Uber, uh, while the Jackal only has about 60%. But the Uber is not able to get in on the last point just yet. Oh, there you go, though. Somebody getting some capture time down on it. Now Heavy standing there, and they've got a back cap going on. So it's Pavi and Tuche, the only ones left right now. Pavi trying to stop the back cap while Tuche coming in. And actually could get this oh so close to getting that capture um but no it's just not close enough so dignitas with a very very good uh defense there very clutch defense and pavi the only man left alive right now um still could have an uber advantage if he finds somebody to heal but he's got to find someone there we go finally uh, had to march all the way back to the respawn cabinet just to catch up with his team there mafu goes down immediately for dignitas and Seacrest here still holds on to that middle point. They've still got the demo man. Uh, Dignitas, um, wow, what is the Jackal doing? He's not healing anybody. He's just playing with his uh, crossbow there. Okay, interesting, interesting. Um, so I get the feeling they may not be taking this too terribly seriously anymore. But uh, Seacrest still is. They're getting up here and trying to capture that point for sure. Now the Jackal finally realizes, oh, hey, maybe I'll heal a soldier, I guess. Um, that would be a cool thing to do, huh? But there you go, Seacrest does capture once again. They've got a big Uber advantage, and they are going to push with it. Uh, in fact, just as soon as they get into this lower lobby, that Uber can be popped at any time. They're going to wait as long as possible, of course, because you only get eight seconds less if you have to flash it around to people. But there you go, they, they pop it in right away, keeping that soldier alive and flashing it to the Demo Man. Um, now more pops the Demo Man up in the air, trying to get the kill. Can't get Mafu just yet. Mafu ends up going down to um, Himzy. I mean, no, uh, to Tuche, my bad. Tuche with these stickies there. And now the Jackal's down as well. Uh, more getting a hit there on midair. Uh, in, with Hox, but Hox has gone down there. H Cookie now dying as well. I am losing words just because of how awesome this game is. And Seacraft has brought it to 2-5. to five. How much time is left here? 7 minutes for 3 points. That's like 2 minutes per point. Uh, we'll see what happens if Seacraft can actually bring it back in 2 minutes per point. That is possible. It's quite unlikely. But uh, if Dignitas doesn't take this seriously, it could actually happen. So Tuche is now pushing his team out. He's, he's taking the window rollout once again. He's actually done that like 3 times in a row. And uh, a choke rollout for Mafu. So he is playing very safe right now. A lot of damage coming down on the Seacrest team, but nobody dead yet. Cookie, the first man to die, and now Mora has gone down as well. Trying to jump in there. Uh, looks like Dignitas having to force back through their house, though. They have lost the middle point. Um, and they're, they're quite damaged here. Hawks is around full health. He's not at the overheal that he needs. But, oh, Demo Man could get taken out. Mafu with a huge pill there on Santu, though. 24 health left for him. And he is, oh, finally gets killed by Rula. Took him out with that scatter gun. So now Seacrest, once again, is trying to push in to the Spire. They may be able to get this, but they've got to get it very quickly. Uber popped by Dignitas and counter Uber popped by Seacrass, but they really need to capture that point right away because time is running out for them. Hawks going for an air shot, misses it, um, and as a result, the Jackal ends up dying. But meanwhile, Seacrass losing the players here as well. Uh, Demoman actually stayed alive. I'm kind of surprised at that. The Tuche managed to get out of that. Um, Cookie and Himsy are both running in right now. Himsy gets taken out immediately. Cookie down to about 14 health, and he is going to die as well. No kills for them. Um, Punpu down, and Tuche finally dies there after three deaths on Dignitas. Is it enough, though? I think they are managing to delay the Seacrass team very well. 
Um, and people are making fun of me right now, leftism in fact, in the stream chat, making fun of me for saying the phrase, playing with his crossbow. Come on, guys. I'm not that immature. Uh, Mafu dealing some uh, sticky damage here up on the point, just trying to delay it, but it looks like Dignitas may end up losing this round. They've got a big uber disadvantage, and Honky, oh no, it, the, the medic is getting jumped right now. Pavi goes down to Himzy, and Honky gets taken out as well. So, yeah, Seacrest not in a very good position anymore. Only Tuche is left alive right now. Cookie, oh, did get taken out, and Tuche going big with a 2k right now trying to set up some more stickies on that point just in case anybody gets up there to try to capture it a uh, soldier coming up and oh he does not want to walk down on that point three stickies does trying to manage to um oh no it is a 3k for tuche i thought he was going to get that he blew the stickies out of the way but just enough time had reverted from that point that there you go 3k for tuche there defending it and a bat cap by santu <laughs> wow, so it is now 3 to 5. How much time is left? 4 minutes, 28 seconds. Um, two points left to capture, 2 minutes per point, and Seacrest did take about maybe 2.5 minutes for that last one, so this could actually happen for them. Mafu just slightly fudging that roll out there, hitting the uh, the top, and, and at this level, that really matters. Uh, he had to take that right-hand roll out there, and looks like both of them was actually did. So, uh, Ubers, are, Ubers are, of course, even. Nobody running the Crits Krieg at all. Santu, the first man to die here. Scouts very much aggressively in control of the point, taking a lot of damage. But there you go. More is down as well. Uh, three down for Seacrest right now. Dignitas has won this mid-fight almost for sure. Um, yeah, Rula and his medic are backing out. Where is Tuche at the moment? He is trying to back out as well. Now finally getting the heals, and man, I am just exhausted from all the casting I've done because these guys have just been non-stop action. Mafu has by, finally been killed there by Rula. Rula gets taken down by Cookie, um, and Uber forced by Himzy there, so Seacrest has had to pop that Uber immediately. Dignitas backing away from the Spire for the moment, but they've got their Uber ready to go. They are going to just try and push in with this um, and make sure that they end this game. Tuche has been taken out, though. Uh, Seacrass is... They may not be able to defend this. They've got more jumping up right now. Taken out a scout. Um, doesn't manage to get the kill, but that scout is quite hurt. Cookie gets taken out by Santu now in midair. But here's the thing. If Seacrass cannot push out, um, can't stop this, capture, whatever, uh, then they have lost the game. Punpu gets taken out there, so it's 4v5 right now. Uber advantage does go to... Uh, oh, man. Big killer by Rula. Hops in there to take out the Jackal, and then Santu finishes off Mafu. Pavi getting bombed by a soldier, but he is not getting taken out yet, and the scout didn't realize that Pavi was about 50 health. Um, oh, now chasing after him, but Pavi has managed to stay alive so far, using the needles to keep himself up. Seven health, and he's still alive. Beautiful play by Pavi and the rest of his team to keep him alive as well. I mean, that's what you got to do there. 30 health still, and somebody could jump up after him, but no, it looks like he has managed to stay alive. Cookie is down now. So... Seacrass with a very clutch uber, uh, clutch medic defense there. Tuche now pushing his team out to the middle point. Uh, two minutes and 30 seconds left in this game, though. So, I mean, Seacrass may be able to capture this round, but unless they just play a perfect round right now, I think that is, in fact, going to be GG. Um, they did manage to capture the middle point, but they don't have anybody on the Spire right now. So, guys, this has, of course, been Salamancer. You've been watching Sal TV. I bring you guys daily competitive TF2 shoutcasting from all levels. So, whether it's this kind of stuff, like invite level uh, and premier level European stuff or North American, all the way down to, like, Div 5 or uh, UGC Highlander, which, uh, even at the high levels of that, it's, it's still quite chaotic. And everything in between, I will bring you all kinds of games on YouTube.com slash FatMop. You need to subscribe there if you want to see that competitive TF2. Um, I just love it, and I hope you love it too. Mafu right now coming out here and trying to stop the capture on the Spire. It's, he's going to be too late for that. Actually, no. Um, yeah, he is just a bit too late. The Uber was forced there for Dignitas, just trying to delay that cap a little bit. Mafu now up here trying to recapture it. Gets taken down. Only two left alive for Dignitas, so I think Seacrest may actually get the cap here on this last point. They're just trying to uh, uh, keep a scout trapped up there. Uh, good pills by Tuche while well, he's in midair. Actually gets a kill on Cookie and going for a pill there on that soldier as well. Doesn't manage to get that kill. That was actually... Uh, no, he did. That was a 2K for Tuche. 2K for Tuche. Nice. Um, but that is going to be the game, guys. It's only a minute left here. Um, I think a perfect round with no opposition on Badlands is something like 45 seconds. And that's just not going to happen. So um, what that, of course, means is that Dignitas is going to advance to the next round to the semifinals of the Excello op um, I'm sorry, the Excello Invite Tournament. This actually happened quite a while ago, so it's kind of a vintage cast, um, maybe like a month ago. But... These were some really good games that did not get casted, so I'm very glad to have the opportunity. Uh, and Seacrass now 
is attempting to win this, but only with one man left. Did get the kill there on Himzy at the very end, trying to do some damage to the medic as well. Did actually uh, bring the Jackal down to about 60 health, but we are seeing everybody leaving the server right now. So guys, that is GG. Thank you for watching. This has been Salamancer, and I am signing out.